It demonstrates the importance of uh, North Macedonia as a highly valued NATO ally, and I welcome very much that uh, uh, the government and the National Assembly is ready to host uh, me, but also the summit tomorrow with the uh, leaders uh, from uh, NATO allies in the, the region. And of course, it is a great honor to be able to address uh, the National Assembly in Skopje once again. Um, so far, I have visited partner nations, uh, Bosnia and um, um, uh, Serbia, uh, and, uh, and I was also in, um, in, uh, in Kosovo. Uh, now I'm in a, in a NATO ally, uh, allied country, and therefore it's also uh, natural that this is the place where we have the big meeting with uh, uh, the heads of state and government from the other uh, uh, NATO allies in the region. Uh, so this is a recognition of the importance, the, the, the role that North Macedonia plays in this alliance uh, and also how much we value that you are now a full-fledged member. I have addressed the National Assembly before, but of course this is the first time I addressed the National Assembly uh, as, as, as uh, a full-fledged member, uh, be, uh, North Macedonia being a full-fledged member of the alliance. And, and I follow that development very closely. And I would like to commend uh, you for the courage, the, the wisdom, uh, and the bravery actually that was needed to ensure that you become a, a full, uh, that you became a full flame, uh, fledged member of the alliance. The press agreement was not easy, but it was good for uh, North Macedonia, it was good for the whole region, and it was good for uh, NATO. And uh, this is about security, but it's also that security helps to promote prosperity. With stability and prosperity. There, will be, there are actually more investments, uh, more jobs, uh, and uh, more foreign direct uh, uh, investments in uh, North Macedonia. So there's a link between security and uh, prosperity, which I think has been demonstrated by the fact that you now are a full, not that you are now a full member of the alliance. So I'm looking forward to the meeting this afternoon with the assembly and also the summit tomorrow.